Hey, this is Jolene from the facepaintingforumshop.com and I am here to demo for you a new product. It is My Kim Special White and it's a metallic white. It is very opaque. I really like it, um, but you can do a little bit less water for a lighter application. You can see over my eyebrow it was getting a little bit dry. So I can load it back up with the water again. I will in a second here and get a little bit more of opaque. If you're looking for a wash effect though, you can also use a uh, kabuki brush and that's what I have used in one of my other tutorials, my step-by-steps to do a sugar skull with. So it's a great product. Um, a lot of times I like to use a shimmer white also for muzzles of animals. That way it has a good blendability. Okay, I am going to come in and I'm trying something new with chunky glitter and I'm going to add a spot on either side with the chunky holographic silver glitter and one in the center and I'm going to use those uh, spots of glitter as my jewels for the crown instead of doing an actual jewel and because it's very hot here in Alabama so I'm coming back with a number six and I'm going to do some teardrops and a few swirls to do a good teardrop you need to press down and flick towards the end well a swirl is a little bit different you need to start on the very tip end and then as you go around start to press down and pull up as you come back up out of the swirl so when you're going around this area I did a few more teardrops and then I'm going to do a couple of swirls on the outside to enclose the crown on both sides as you can see coming back up on the tip to make that swirl if you were uh, working in the field you could go ahead and let what I'm doing here which is three teardrops on the outside be the last of what you do and a little girl would be perfectly fine with this I am actually going to take a line around each one. I'm going to add a few uh, dots here to enclose the bottom half of the crown and then I'm going to outline the glitter to make it more of a jewel like shape. I'm going to do a circle around both of these on the outer edge. Okay, the next thing that I have planned to do is I'm going to come back in with a little number one after I finish off my little teardrops here because I felt like it was a little empty right there I am going to come back in with a little number one and I am going to go over the top of this with a little bit of global purple to just kind of bring everything out but as I said you could be done with just the white on white it has more of a kind of an elegant look but I know on camera it doesn't show up quite as much as it does in person so I'm going to come back over with the purple so you can really see the design and uh, this is a small number one I'm coming back with and just basically retracing all my lines this is another option that you can do um, it will help to make the design stand out, but if you're not comfortable with outlining, you can go straight over the top of your line work like this too. Okay, and as you can see, I'm going to make the tip of that swirl extra curly, and that's something you can do with this line work also. I'm going to go back in on a few of those teardrops, and and go on the other side. I'm definitely a painter that I like to paint one side then paint the other, paint one side and paint the other back and forth. I don't very often finish a whole side of paint and then come back. Okay, I'm going to come back in. This part actually I didn't love once I did it. I went around the jewels with the purple. Um, this one was okay. I didn't love the circles though. So if I had to do it again, I probably would not go around the circle with the purple. 
but overall this chunky glitter is very shimmery and works very well and I wore it for the remainder of the day so it stayed on very well and the um, right after you do the paint it's a little bit tacky Okay, and I am also going to bump this up one more notch. I'm going to go in with Susie Sparkles Glitter Gel, and I'm going to outline the whole design in that. And it is also a holographic silver, so it's really pretty too. If you've never used glitter gel, uh, you just need to dispense a little bit of it on the back of your hand just to make sure there's no clogs or it won't go splat on your design because sometimes it can do that. I usually uh, shake mine a little bit before I get started. I'm going to go around the entire outside of the design to make sure everything's enclosed. And I'm going to do just a few places on the inside of the design. Now with a glitter gel, even pressure is important. You just need to make sure you keep moving that tip, otherwise you'll get a gloop in one area. Okay, I'm going around those dots and around the circle jewel part. Around the swirl on the inside. And that's it. I appreciate you watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.